Hey everybody, welcome back to Foot Manager 2020. Now, we probably won't have as long an episode as last time because I wanted to get through a lot of the opening stuff um, to get us going. Where you left off last time, we've signed, uh, well let's have a look actually, um, transfer history, here we go. So, well, we didn't sign Dan James, Harry Guire, and Rome Saka, or Bjorn Hardley, or him, or him, or him. We signed Christopher Scheer. Um, Christopher Agier, who is very good, potentially world class. Centre back, we're going to play him as a DM, but can play you know, any of those three roles. Thilo Crea, who's a good young centre back, um, and uh, yeah, he'll provide good backup, very cheap, 4.6 mil. Lavin Gazawa, who I'm hoping, once he's not injured, will uh, be really good kind of back up but also fighting for position with uh, Luke Shaw. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, uh, £30 million plus £40 million in potential add-ons. Creativity, goals, just everything you want from a midfielder really. He's going to be brilliant I reckon. And we signed Andre Pierre Gijniak as a pressing forward up front. Um, someone who we yeah, who kind of rotationary with, with some others up there as well. What we need is a, a right inside forward. Um, what I might do is actually not put that, but then just put... Uh, da, 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 can we... Ah, here we go. Uh, it's left-footed. If it is very strong there we go so that way we kind of know they're going to be able to play on the right we haven't got a huge amount here I've, I've kind of put in some parameters for the work rate acceleration dribbling but David Neres of uh, Ajax could actually be pretty good it's decent enough work rate and everything like that let's get him scouted I think he um, would not get a work permit though pretty sure on that which is unfortunate um, we do want someone fairly young but I am happy to sign someone slightly older if we kind of need that um, someone now ah now this guy's Italian now that's very interesting um, plays pretty much inside right can also play in the center Work rate's okay, passing's good, technique, first touch, dribbling's okay, doesn't have a lot of strength but good stamina. Um, culture attacking midfielder left only. What's his stats like this season? He's been doing quite well. Um, okay, yeah, we'll we'll definitely scout him. Maybe make an inquiry into him as well. Uh, who else we got? We've got this young Turkish lad. He looks pretty decent actually. I heard of this guy before quite like the look of him though great technique dribbling first touch aggression work rate pace stamina strength's pretty bad i'm gonna guess he's quite short yeah um how's he been doing okay so he's played a few seasons for definite um let's uh make an inquiry on him as well you know we need somebody around the 15 mil mark basically max we can really likely afford to spend Renato Stefan, who is Swiss, uh, seven caps. He's left footed as well, so yeah, he'll play inside right. Not great, I don't think, but we'll scout him. 27 as well, so coming into his peak, but not necessarily going to get that set on if you really wanted to. Ismail, who's Libyan. Wow, okay. I don't think I've ever signed a Libyan player before in my life. Uh, Thomas, oh, I thought that was Mug. I was like, that's a that's a great name, Thomas Mug. Um, here, these Premier League players are good, but they're going to be super expensive, aren't they? This guy's okay. Who have we got? If we um, if we take if we just go for aggression, work rate. Who have we got? If we kind of pump that up a bit. 
Renato Stefan, <laughs> he he's got he's got that. Maybe uh, he might be available for a fairly cheap price. We'll have a look. Georgie Tzivali, it's eighteen year old Georgian. That it's kind of oh no, he's Ukrainian. Okay, did look Georgian. That name just just look a bit Georgian. But we'll we'll scout him at least. Um, see where he goes. Augustin Buzat. Yeah, probably not. Passing's pretty weak. Uh, you know, the main idea of the inside forward is to score and also set up chances. So you passing, finishing should be should be good. So there's a couple of options there for us. I think. Um, I don't think we want Kandreva. I think he's just too old. Good. We now have signed Matic. That's good. We've got him off our wage bill. So how are we doing on that front? We are slightly over our wage bill, but we we can. Um, oh no no no! Sorry, we're slightly under. Oh good. So we could actually increase that if we wanted to. Yeah. So we've got about twenty three mil to spend on this uh, inside right player. Yeah, Juan Iturbi, he used to play in uh, Italy, yeah, Torino and all that lot, didn't do quite so well though, did he? Um. Elias Hernandez, he's 31, we'll scout him, he might be cheap and he might offer us something, <laughs> you never know. Uh, so we want passing, technique, crossing, dribbling, finishing, acceleration, pace, stamina. That's a lot to ask. Which is why nobody can do that role. This 19 year old can, apparently. Potentially. And this 36-year-old Brazilian is apparently very good as well. Playing in China, yeah. I'm sure he is. Brandon Williams, double hernia. Okay. That sounds pretty nasty, to be fair. We've got a lovely peppermint tea here, actually, which I'm going to be drinking while playing this. It's a bit chilly in my house at the minute today. Uh, we beat Gainsborough Trinity 1-0. Well done, Man United. That's a great result. Got another Singapore match coming up. Not for sale at any price. Well, you know, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, I think he probably will be for sale at a certain price. I'm not sure I want to pay it. Lingard's out for one to two days. That's okay. That's fine. We'll pay Dan James probably anyway. Give him a run around. I do think we can fit another game in here, actually. I might have a look. Just to try and build up the. Uh, let's have a look who we got. So we're going to have them come up. Then we've got Curzon, Ashton. Then we've got Fenerbahce. Then we've got Vallecano. Then we've got Burnley. Do we want to fit a midweek one in just to. You know. Settle everyone in. I think maybe one there. Just to... Do, no, no, you know what, we'll... We're gag pressing. We'll take it easy on the lads. You know, we won't, we won't screw them over in, in pre-season. We'll see. Zeta v Cork City. Wow, what a match. Okay, Jaden Sancho, he'd be a good signing, wouldn't he, for the wide right? Not going to be able to afford him. Okay. I was just thinking, though, because I've got so many players and I want to get them all fit for the season, but Arsenal make McKenna offer. Interesting. He's decent. He's got McKenna. Decent centre back. Him and Sutter make quite a good partnership, actually. 4.8 million. You can't really argue with that. Um, he'll be cheap wages too. Well, he's pretty good. They're saying he's not though. 
Yeah, okay. I'll listen to my scouts. Probably shouldn't, but uh, we'll listen to them for once. Yeah, you're trying to sell me him earlier in the season, Sander Burge. Not really interested. Uh, Mamana, Mamama, Mamana, Mamama. Mama, Mama, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, right. Okay. Still got a lot of these players who need their fitness. Usually that doesn't, so I might just put Marshall up front just so he gets some fitness there. Um, Bissaka's back. Let's put him in for Dallo. Put Dallo on for the second goalie. Fred's back. Let's put him in for Mata or Pereira. Um, Mata. Chong down there as well. Chong's down there. I'm hoping we can sell Young. And Jones by the end of the season. I'm hoping. I don't know if we can, but I'm hoping we can. Get all these guys up to fitness. We could just get back to this team as well, aren't we? Singapore, Kasala. Oh, hopefully we won't have someone sent off. I mean, bear in mind, we just won our last game 10 1 with 10 men. Would be interesting if we just started with ten men in this one as well. <laughs> I don't know why Luke Shaw isn't pushing up a bit more as a wing back. Okay. I think Fernandez is gonna get a lot of assists from corners and stuff like that. For us this this season with the Maguire at the back. I'm really I'm gonna before the next match actually we'll we'll put do some set piece focus um stuff and, and have a proper look at that so that we can uh make sure we're kind of maximizing that's it, Martial. Nice one, buddy. Might switch him with um, Rashford actually, that's what I was gonna do, wasn't it? I remember now. Rashford's a bit more aggressive. I think Aaron wan -Bissaka's first season at Man United has generally been quite good. Uh, a lot of people are saying about... Well, he scored from the left, to be fair. A lot of people are saying about his um, like attacking prowess not being as good as defensive, which is absolutely 100% true. Um, but... You have to bear in mind, you know, he did bits of it at Crystal Palace, but obviously he was mainly needed for defending, <laughs> just being such a Crystal Palace. But I think with the right coaching, right kind of, you know, training, he he can bring that into his game. He's clearly got a lot of talent and he reads the game very well. He makes tackles very well. He's very athletic. He's got everything he needs to be a top class right back. Um, I do think that... Um, the when you look at someone like Trent Alexander Arnold, who for me is probably the best right back in the world right now, but he's not really a right back, is he? <laughs> like he is more like a right midfielder because he plays so far up the pitch and mostly what he does involves attacking. So it's almost a different role nowadays to a right back. It shouldn't really be called that anymore. Um I don't know what you would what you would call it really, but eh, there we go. Rashford's offside. Not lucky, Rash. Lucky Rashi. But um, I think Alexander is 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 ahead of Wambazaka, but in terms of overall play and just the pure ability, like Alexander Arnold, like his set pieces and his is just second to none. And I think that is a lot harder to train than the defensive stuff. So. I think it'll be harder for wan to learn to do a lot of that stuff than it is, would be for Trent Alexander to learn more of the defensive stuff. But, you know, if you could combine both players, you would you would literally have, like, the greatest right back in history. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe there's an argument 
that you know England play them both on the right hand side. Alexander Arnold a bit further ahead, but I don't know if that I don't know if that would work or not. Anybody's super knackered? Lingard's a little bit. Let's bring on Dan James. Has Martial got a hat trick? I didn't even realise. Good play so far. I like it. Oh, unlucky. Only three nil so far. Bit disappointing. I think we bring on Theo for Harry. Uh, Andreas for Bruno, but Tommy for Pogba, Fred for Gier, Ashley Young for Luke Shaw, Aaron Wan, he's in back in, Twan ZB, you can't leave Martial on, and I bring up Rashford. Oh my goodness me. Andreas Pereira, take a bow. Hello. That is a that is a hit and a half. How, how far out do you think this is? 35? Yeah, about 30 maybe. 30, 35. I mean, yes, he basically is playing against a pub side, but, you know... You can only beat what's there, can't you? Oh, oh, Andreas for the second. Maybe he's a good backup actually to Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> yeah, looking good so far. Can uh, Mason Greenwood play? Play a little bit as an inside right. Might bring him on then for Martial. Rather than Gomez. We've had 40 shots, 17 on target, and we've scored five goals. They have not had a shot on target. I mean, they are the definition of a pub side, aren't they? Semi-professional. Yeah. There's there's no pride in this. <laughs> it's just fitness training. We might as well be playing uh, Man United under-18s. We'd probably have a harder time. I think Pereira is quite good as a backup for Fernandes because he's also very good at set pieces. So there's a correlation there. Oh, cracking header there from James, wasn't it? Really good. Oh, nice one, quiet. What? What? Hang on, hang on now. I want to see a replay of that goal. That did not look right. Are you getting sent off? No. Okay. What? This to me looked like James scored that. I can't get it any slower. Okay. 
This is very slow. Okay, it's a bit better. McTominay hits it on there. James volleys it. What? <laughs> Did not hit the crossbar. Are you playing that game? Let's go live. 6 0. Don't get me wrong, I'm under no illusions that we are going to. Uh... Oh, Trans AB scored, but it was offside. Yeah. 47 shots, 18 on target, 72% possession. They didn't have a single shot on target. I mean, we're doing what we need to do against shit teams. So, and look, I mean, Admiralty is 2 0 there for Crystal Palace, and we battered them. So maybe that's a little bit better. We did stroll to success, though, I will say that much. And it's not necessarily ideal, because you do want to have a bit of a challenge to test the team and, and see how they're doing, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Man City. It's going to be an interesting one. So we've got that. Fenerbahce, so that's a bit more. Fenerbahce, Vallecano, much more of a challenge, those two. Not probably top class but should be quite good he looks very good 3.3 mil imagine he would cost us a lot more and he looks decent Remember this guy from the World Cup? Just this big, massive player, wasn't he? Happened to Ryan Fraser's contract runs out at the end of the season, so we can get back in from then. Uh, guy is an excellent left back. Uh, don't know about this guy. We'll scout him. We've still got plenty of time. Uh, there's no need to, you know, panic yet. But I do want that inside right. I do want somebody good. We've got a bit of cash to spend, so I'm really hoping we can we can do that. There's no one really that interesting come up on the transfer market. I mean, I'd love it like a Douglas Costa. But I ain't paying that much. <laughs> Juve obviously need the money because uh, Ronaldo. Okay, he signed for uh, Civi on loan. Really need to get these guys on some uh, Quinton Fortune. What a legend. I know it was really good though. To be fair, under the Alex Ferguson years, people talk about like you know, some of the big signings he made, but they were really good at kind of identifying, uh, I guess, players who were bang average, but getting the best out of them. You know, Quinton Fortune is a great example. There were many others um, out there who they... Forsberg? Oh, he's more, he's a left. Okay, he's a lefty. Um... There were many others out there who they they got in, you know, Eric Jemba, Jemba, you know, players like this who actually performed way better than they, they were capable of, I guess, because of Alex Ferguson, because of the team and the way it was set up and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you can play. Uh, you can play. You can play. No, no, no. Yes, you can play. Yes, you can play. Fenerbahce is in six days, so they've got plenty of time to recover. Transibi. Play Greenwood. Matter, yep. Yeah. Gomez. Chong. Don't want to play him and risk more injury. Uh, who else? Uh, 
that's probably about it for now. Should we make Ashley Young available? Sure, why not? A pretty good team they got there. <laughs> if they don't win that game, <laughs> then uh, there's a serious problem there. Okay, 20 messages. 48,000 season tickets. It's not bad. I'd like a lot of these players, but they are very expensive. Uh, he can pay a little bit on the right, but he's not ideal. He is just Brazilian. He's Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, interesting. They're saying 11 to 16. Because he's right footed. He's not going to be. Yeah, he's not going to be great. Does argue with officials though, and I do like that in my players. Jonathan Panzo. It's pretty good. Where'd he come from? Chelsea, eh? Neres. But we establish he's not going to get a work permit, is it? It's like unlikely. Who's the other guy at Ajax? Um, yeah, Zayic. Side forward. He's pretty good. 32, though, million. Don't think we're going to be able to get him. Renato Stefan's only 4 million. This guy saying 8 to 6, but he's not actually rated that highly. I thought he looked a lot better than that. This guy is rated pretty highly. He's only 18, to be fair. We have got like Daniel James and players, and you know Chong, Gomez, players like that. We don't really need young wide players. We need slightly older <laughs> wide players. Um, maybe not Andreas Kandreva hold, but older, shall we say? So who's their picks? Let's go for the recommended here. Jaden Sancho, we ain't getting him. It'd be like 100 million, I'm sure. Justin Cliver, Steven Bergevin is very good. I don't think he's going to go for anything less than about 50. Uh, Draxler, there's Otavio, Ricardo Pereira. Again, very good, but don't really need him. He's more of a right back. How oh, was this guy at three, four weeks? He is kind of what we want. They're saying 17 to 33. Very technical. He's got decent work rate, and as in like very average work rate and um, thing. Aggression. Nope, don't like that guy. Uh, Domenico Berardi. Good aggression. Moves ball to his left foot. Before dribble attempt, cuts inside from the right wing, places shots. How much are they saying for him? 10 to 14. Wouldn't say he's going to blow the water. I'd say as a backup he might be good. But I'm not sure he is going... Uh, you know, I really want somebody who's going to be able to come in and make a massive difference. I don't know if he's the... Guy to do that. Kevin Campbell, how much are they saying? 34 million. Yeah, that's not happening, is it? This guy looked alright. Work rate's good. His bravery's not that good. Plays Bosnia regularly. Played in Turkey for a quite a long time. 
Where the hell am I looking there? Um, Lucas Mora, Tottenham. Not going to be able to sign him. Felipe Anderson. Uh, yeah. What are the other guys I'm scouting at the minute? Solomon Kalou. Alexander Hleb. God. Hmm. So of the Octavio has what we want. My only worry with him is he's right-footed. He's got the technique. He's got good work rate aggression. He's decent speed. He's 24. He can dribble. He's got good first touch. Doesn't finish that well. He's got good flair. They say very technical, determined attitude. Doesn't have great jumping. Agent wants IV. Like you find it difficult. Yeah, it's not an improvement in my opinion. Could be. Could be very good. Quadrado is not an inside forward. Then leaves us this guy, Edin. Good flair. 29. I'm very doubtful on 29 year olds. Sabitzer. They're going to want a lot for him, right? Yeah, and again, it doesn't really add that much, I don't think. Ooh, it's a, it's a tough one finding a player for, the, for this position, isn't it? Oh, he's Belgium as well. Hello. Eddie Milson Jr. I got excited. I pressed buttons too much. Okay, potentially there's something here. Very good aggression, like that. Okay, all right. He played in Belgium for a long time. Okay, we'll scout him. An Iranian. <laughs> Not actually terrible. Wonderson. Yep, we'll scout him as well. A lot of these uh, Brazilians are very uh, um, Brazilian sounding names, don't they? Jean Murillo. It's got the aggression, doesn't really have the work rate. More of a winger. Minamino might be an option, I guess. Uh, where, did we, where did I just see that about Minamino? The social feed. Someone making a bid for him. Yeah, no, he's not going to be, not going to get a work permit, even if we appeal anyway, so, no, thank you. What's your right inside forward like? Meh. <sighs> oh, Pesaka's injured again. He got injured in the match. We won 8-0 though, so, yeah, we should really have won, to be fair. I'm at to score three. Uh, don't want to. Don't want to offer Gomez on loan. Nine point nine. I've never seen anyone get a nine point nine. Jesus. Uh. Oh, Lingard's injured. Okay. This is what I mean. People are gonna get injured. We're gonna have to have. 
you know, we're going to have to have these backups. Can't get away with having, not having any squad depth. This kid's good. 19 years old. But they're saying like he's not actually any good. Scouts are known to be wrong though. It's pretty good. So Genio Dest. It's a wing back. Dave Sabalos. William Carvalho. Danny Milosevic plays as a winger or a right. Mm, no. Still looking for this right midfielder. They would let us have Justin Cliver. He's either footed. What if we could loan him? Uh, okay, they're not really interested in a loan, but we potentially could get one going. What if we could loan Douglas Costa for a season? Oh, they are interested. So we we could take Douglas Costa as an inside forward on loan. Who is a very good player. Uh, if we pay him one hundred eighty five thousand a week, well, we could get him for a year. What about Bernadeschi though? doesn't appear to be here. Hang on. No, he doesn't appear to be here anymore. Did they? Maybe Spurs signed him, I don't know. Someone bid for Justin Clover. Oh. Uh, oh. I mean, if I can't find anyone, I guess that's not a bad option, is it? Take him on loan for a season. Uh, future fee after match played. I'm not. I'm not paying that. Ah, they want the future fee. Okay. Optional future fee of fifty million. Uh porn player. Let's go optional future fee sixty billion. Okay. Felipe Anderson. I don't think we're gonna be signing him. Of course China want him. China want everyone. I still like Dominico Baradi. Um I think he's also you can play up front, which is quite useful. I think he's a decent player. He's got some good stats. But he's a bit meh. He can play he's good inside forward though. Let's see how much they want for him. Hmm. 13 million straight up. If we get him in Costa. <sighs> Look how many scouts we have. 
32. <laughs> uh, right, we need a under 23 coach. We need a under 23 data analyst. Under 23 physio. Under 23 sports scientist. We need under 18 fitness coach. Under 18 coach. Under 18 data analyst. And some under 18 sports scientists. I do love a bit of uh, peppermint tea. Ashley Young is injured for four to five months. No, I can't sell him now. Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Bugger. I wanted that 120 grand off my wage bill. Oh, well. Next season, I guess. I don't know why also I'm wearing my headphones. It's a little bit odd because there's literally no sound in this game. It was actually hurting my head. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, 13 million for use of Paulson. That's not a lot, is it? Could be of some use. 13 million. No, I don't think he's going to be any good, though, is he? Great work rate, but he's, he's worse than. Yeah, potentially he's not good. Yes, agreed. Uh, I think they are open to it, but I don't really want to take them online. I've got young players if I want to use a young player. What I want is an experienced player um, to be able to play in that position. Who are we playing? Ah, Fenerbahce. Uh, do we want Barati? Yeah, we do. I think he's good. I think he's good enough. I have to have a look at this squad re registration, actually, because... Can we afford to get everybody in? <laughs> uh, I think so, yeah. It's Bally, no. Fossu Mensa, no. Young's in. Okay. Yeah, to be fair, everyone else is under 21, so Bally's out for the season, probably. We can register him in um, January if we need to. Oh, they accepted that loan offer. Oh, I'll take Douglas Costa as well. Oh, yes. Ah, if you want Jones on loan, absolutely, yes. That's 110 grand back. Okay, squad numbers. Uh, oh my god, how many goalkeepers do we have? This is insane. <laughs> Christ almighty. Uh, can we just show the... Okay, apparently not. Filter. We have to do it just a senior squad. And yet... It's showing everybody. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, we're going to give the number four to. I'm going to give him number 19. Yeah, I'm taking that off Bally. Luke Shaw's got 23. Bruno Fernandes is going to have the number seven. Dominic Parati can have the number 11. Pierre can have the number. Is anybody there I don't like? You can have number 8. He's got, Mato have, can be number 12. Sanchez is number 77. Okay. So 
So we got download, play right back. Got Baradi. He's gonna play instead of Lingard. Lingard. We put in Mata, I guess. We can tag John. Oh, he does play inside forward on the right. Brilliant. Okay. Good. Get rid of Mata. I really actually do want to get rid of Mata. I don't think he's. Uh, I'll take 15 million for him. I do want 100% though. Um, okay. Let's play with what we think we might go into the first game with, which is this probably, though it might be Costa instead of Berardi. Um, yeah. Let's see how we do. Okay. Big fan of Fenerbahce's kit already. I like it. I like a, a stripe on the front and then a nice colour on the back. But actually, that red and black of Man United is looking good as well. Much better than that awful concrete bloody third kit. It's disgusting. Now, I'm hoping for a win by a couple of goals here, but we'll see because we've only played like pub teams, haven't we? We've basically. Fenerbahce, they're not a terrible side, he says. Luis Gustavo and he scores, um, but we should be beating them. Like that's without a doubt. Okay. Oh, lucky Rashford. Ooh. See, I think one of our best chances is actually through set pieces. I might click the old thing that says play for set pieces because we've got some real aerial threats. Um, which we might be able to exploit. I actually said I was going to do the set pieces, and I've got to remember that at the end of this game. Oh, nice. Now oh, come on, Dominico. I didn't think they were going to accept actually my offer. I'm not sure I would sign Berardi if they if I knew that. I think they're just desperate to get him off their wage, but aren't they? 185 grand a week. He is really good though. Um, I've I've had him before, not in 2020 to be fair. I remember signing him bizarrely. Um, sign Costa like it might have been 18 2018 uh, football manager I was Rangers and I signed him for Rangers from Juve on a free um, managed to convince him somehow I don't know I don't think anyone else was interested at that time his wages were really high they were like 100 grand a week and he was by far like my top owner and I had to take a real hit to get him but he was absolutely phenomenal which you can imagine like he would be just tearing up the Scottish League <laughs> like it, it was actually like embarrassing he's offside yeah Rashi um, yeah it was actually like embarrassing how uh, how much he just ripped up so I know he's good He's the type of kind of flair play you do want as well on that kind of wing. And he seems to put a shift in as well. Nice head there, Lindelof. At least with Man United, though, you know De Gea's a decent keeper. I, I sometimes, like, hate paying money for goalkeepers because you feel like it's such a crap 
position in a way like you don't feel it does anything for the team but of course it does this is one of the most important positions but like if you said to me oh phil you know you can spend 20 million on an average striker i'd be like oh, yeah that seems fine but if you're like you can spend 20 million on a on a really good goalkeeper i'd be like mm, there must be someone cheaper out there <laughs> um who are we going to bring on now pogba's not played well Yizhniak's not played too well so let's try out um anthony tony uh, Berardi's played alright we'll start the second half like that we could always bring on Greenwood and move Martial to the left if we need to or actually I might put Rashi up front like that ok we've had some good chances um which is which is good, but we should be winning this game. He says as I nearly score. Let's see, eleven and eight. That like we should have scored by now. It's just poor finishing, really. That's it, Rashford. Oh. Annoying. It's 12 and 9. We're getting some good like leeway up the right hand side there. Go on, Berardi. Yes, finally, Rashford. Fernandez sets it up. I'm hoping wan is going to be back before the first game, but he's probably not going to be fit, which means I might play Dallow. Uh, Berardi's done quite well at this right-hand side. I've been impressed with him. Oh, God, what was that? Let's just forget about that one, Bruno. Okay, do we want to bring anybody off? Have we got anybody? To... We could bring on Crayo, I guess. Gets a bit of time, doesn't he? I haven't got a left back. Why haven't I got a left back? Oh, he's still injured, yeah. Young's injured. Yeah, not ideal. Um, Brody, I'm going to leave on. So he gets match fitness. Pogba has got match fitness and he's not playing very well. So let's bring on um, McTominay. Um, let's bring on... Let's keep it. Let's try Fred out in the DLP role. He's not ideal for him, but it's the only place he's probably going to get much uh, game time. I've got to remember set pieces at the end of this. Set pieces, set pieces. Nice. Set. Nice one, sure. Oh, just, just cut it back. Just cut it back, mate. Yeah, it should be more than one nil. Or it might not even be one nil. Yep, that was obvious. Ah. <sighs> They've had three shots on target, and we've had ten. <laughs> we've had eleven shots on target. <laughs> we are cutting through their defence pretty easily, but... It's poorly... Executed. Come on, one last corner. Smash it in Maguire or Azure. No. Here we go. 
Tony. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> we should have won this by a mile. Uh, I mean, let's just hope this is just one of those one of those games. But I mean, it would look good, I think. Oh my god. This is frustrating. It's only a friendly at least, but it, you know. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, don't worry about the results. It's about the fitness at the end of the day. We should have won that game. We had the vast majority of the quality chances, but sometimes the cookie crumbles badly for you. Uh... Nobody from Man United is tipped. Well, you're going to regret that. When Gignac becomes the top goal scorer. We should be beating Vayakana as well. <sighs> he says, kind of nice. Yes, Jones. Get the fuck out of here, Jones. Ah, oh, 13 mil future fee. Excellent. I'll take your money and laugh. Get off my wage bill. I'll pay for Costa. Well, it won't completely pay. Ah, Kazawa's back. Good. Uh, it's like decent enough. Uh, what's the deal with Douglas Costa? We're just waiting on a work permit. He should get one, right? He should definitely get one. He's an elite winger. That would be a good signing, I think. If we can get him. Oh, well done, Deji. Irish. Irish Nigerian, born in Waterford. Fair play. If we can get Costa, I, th I think we can get, like, um, I think we can get top four. I think we get top four anyway, really. <laughs> I, sh I mean, I should just be saying, like, we can get top four. Man United under 23s again. Smashing it up. Not really under 23 though, are they? Oh, Liverpool. How much did we get? 3.8 million. Wicked. He just signed Adan Jan Janazai. I never really understood why Man United sold him out, to be fair. I know he kind of like, didn't quite fulfil, but... It's kind of... Uh, they want Dan James to the end of the season. No, no thanks, no. Go away. Okay, we seem to have a lot of debt. How much... Uh, sorry, yeah, debts and loans. Net debt, 50 million. Transfer debt, 54 million. We've got a bank... Oh, Jesus Christ. Over 393 million in debt. Awesome. <laughs> but our balance is 300 million, so why aren't we just paying it off instead of paying the interest? It doesn't make it, that's like turning around and saying, like, oh, I've got 10 grand in my bank account, but I've got a 10 grand loan that I'm paying off each month. It's like, well, just pay the loan off, surely, right? It doesn't. 
I don't know. Eric Bally. Do we want him? Honestly, I don't think I do. But Mate, no one's going to buy you. You've got torn ligaments. Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I'll sell him. <laughs> I'm just going to open a can. It's actually a can of cream soda. Been looking forward to drinking it all day, actually. I do love myself some cream soda. Um, cool, I'm glad we just got three million from Janazai. Um, can we hear about Costa, though? I'd really like to hear about Costa. I'm not going to put Gazara in. Actually, to be fair, he does need the... He does need the minutes. I don't even want to know about, like, a takeover. Uh, Jack Grealish. I would like Jack Grealish. He's a good player. I don't really need him, though, do I? Inside forward on the left is not... It's not a weak point for us. Okay. Let's put Gazar in there. Uh, right. Let's get a bit more balanced and see how that works out. I think on the plus side we've got like really good depth in the squad. I'm, I'm happy there's like two players in every position who can potentially do well, if not more, if you include some of the youngsters. Chong and Gomez. Um, but the question is whether or not that overall quality is going to be good enough for, you know, her top games. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, Diego. Jesus. I see wan Bissaka doing that, do you? Great ball from his yeah. Just spanked it, didn't he? Boom. Take that. Back of the net. Pozo. That's our first shot on target as well. Ooh. Was that okay? That was a cross of some sort. Ooh, unlucky Pogba. Nice. Nice. Good finisher. Bruno Fernandes with the assist. That was a hit. That was a good ball. And that was a great finish. We've been pretty ruthless this game, which is good to see, because against Venabache we wouldn't... Oh, hello. We were not... I don't know no one bothered to come and celebrate with him. It's good good assist from um Barati as well. Boom. Oh, I like Gignac. Gignac, isn't it? Just spanked him in. Out my way, Pozzo. 
We've had four shots on target and scored three goals. It was the last time we had like 11 shots on target and scored one goal. So a bit, a bit more ruthless this time. It's good to see. Nice. Ooh, unlucky. It's good, good ball from Berardi. I've been actually quite impressed with him, funnily enough. Ooh, hello. Hat trick. How many assists has Bruno Fernandes got this game? Just two, okay. Probably going to be high by the end, isn't it? Is Vanicano... I thought they were quite decent. No, they're in the second division. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah, we should be spanking them. Burnley first game of the season is not going to be enjoyable, is it? <sighs> we really need to get off to a good good start, get the you know confidence going, get people scoring goals, get the creativity going. But um, oh, I forgot the set pieces again. Fuck. <laughs> you can't do a mid-match. I would do a mid-match because if you do a mid-match, they're just reset by the end. Okay. I think we'll keep this just for the first 10 minutes and then we'll we'll make some wholesale changes. Get people's fitness up. We'll bring on Martial. Nice. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, who we got? Anybody? Nah, good. Not really. Any interested? Marcus Rashford. Okay, bring on Tony Martial. Uh, Roddy for Chong. Yeah, why not? Roddy's done, actually done really well, I think. Last two games. Albeit friendlies, but he's done all right. He wasn't French either. So, surprising. I haven't signed one English player, I don't think, have I? Which is um, obviously not what Man United... Uh, <laughs> um, it just smashes. I mean, I love it. Uh, which is obviously Man United seem to be a lot more emphasised on signing um, oh they actually feel like that that's pretty good they do seem to yeah have an emphasis upon signing uh, he's got a hat-trick he can come off I'm going to leave Pogba and Fernandes on I think oh we can bring on Kazama for sure I haven't got a right back for Dallo. Might have to just wing that one. Yeah, because unfortunately with when Bissaka injured and Young injured, then that's your that's my, all my backups for for right back gone, and it's frustrating. And you're like, oh well, I could sign a, a right back, but then you're like, well, but then I've got four. <laughs> really, I know Young can also play left back, but just get to a point where you just don't need that many. Hopefully, Dallo won't get injured, because if he gets injured, then we are actually a bit screwed. Yeah. Come on, Pogba. Oh, Greenwood. Oh, that's unlucky. I'm going to bring off Pogba, though. And, uh, and Des. Uh, so the only person I haven't brought off is Dallo. Uh, He's at 73. I do need to bring him off. Lingard, I know you've probably never played right back in your life, but <laughs> it's a good time to start. I like Greenwood. As I said, I know that like in a couple of seasons he'll be a monster. So 
I don't know whether it'll be a pressing forward that we might have to change the style to get the best out of him, but he's done all right in the games I've played. I'm definitely going to play him in cup games, um, maybe against some of the weaker opposition. Kind of depends. Maybe definitely some of the European games if they're against shitty sides. I think he'll do well. How's everyone else doing? Arsenal winning, Chelsea winning, Brighton are winning, uh, Leicester are winning. <sighs> cool, final whistle. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can get Costa before this fucking thing closes. We're still on for it, right? Yeah, just wait on that work permit. Ooh, yes. Douglas Costa. We signed him. That could be the finishing piece of the puzzle. That is... What are they saying about Douglas Costa here? That's a hand. He's disappointing. Idiots don't have anything. Yes. Uh, he likes to be number eleven. I can't give you number eleven. I can give you twenty-five. Okay. So now. <coughs> Oh, he plays actually best on the left. We are going to play him on the right, though. The inside forward. He just likes to cut in. That's good. Carl's ball. That's what tries tricks. Cuts in from the right wing. <clears throat> yes. Yes, please. Douglas Costa. Yes, please. Um, yes. <laughs> so... I think we've got a, a tidy, tidy-looking squad now. the The problem might be striking-wise, but I think we're okay um, in that respect. I think I might go first game. Do I go Rashford up top? I think I go Geniac. Yeah, I think I do. I think I go him up top, especially against Burnley. Um, oh. Man City won the Community Shield. Okay, let's just sign this sports scientist. I don't even look how much I'm paying them. It doesn't even matter, does it? it? Won't even register. When you're paying players 400 grand a week, it doesn't matter if you pay your bloody... Um, <sighs> let's just sign this guy. It's a data analyst. I'm just going to get up to the Burnley game now, and I think we will finish up there. Ah, right, so I do want to make... Feeling recommends Paul Pogba as captain. Why? Christopher Gea is the, the, the choice. But yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to... Yep, I thought Ashley Young might say that. So, yeah, I'm going to put Pogba as captain, <coughs> Maguire as vice-captain. Or do I want Gea as vice-captain? He is a really good leader. He will be captain one day. But I'll go with Harry Maguire and Paul Pogba this season. I can see that being a thing. Let's hope Pogba doesn't get one of his... Injury risk update. So high, yeah. Douglas Costa high. Because he doesn't have much sharpness, yeah. That makes sense. Um, what does Pogba think about being captain? Delighted to be appointed captain of Manchester United. We should get... Oh, Ever, I was about to say, we should get Ever in on the coaching stuff. We do. <laughs> Mateus Pogba, his cat brother. Under 18 fitness coach. Looks like this guy's probably the best. He 
these look shit. Uh, who do you want to put in there? Who needs uh, Grant can play? Yeah, Vingar can play. Not Bissaka. I don't want Zara or Costa. Mind you, we've, oh yeah, we've got three days. I don't want them playing. Mata can play because we ain't going to play him. Um, Tommy, I'll actually give him 45 minutes because he needs to build up that match fitness. Charlie, I'll give him 45 minutes as well. And that's it, I think. Dan James can play. It's Tamworth. Okay, Man United under 23 coach. Ivan Cordoba. Yes, teach them the shithousery ways. Yes. Uh, I don't need to take part because I have no money. <laughs> Actually, in terms of that, am I right? Yeah. There we go. I do actually have a bit of money, but. Recording him, idiots. Uh, right, we got all our right wingers. Is there anybody who's just come really late onto the market? Just having a look, and not really anyone of interest actually. So yeah, that's kind of kind of bang average there. So I think yeah, we just move on. We move on, and uh, pretty happy actually with with what we've done. Yikes! Four hundred and fifty k a week, three point eight million a week. Whew. Yeah, I mean, really, with the players we've signed, we should be. Competing for the league title, shouldn't we? There's, tw there's like 30 players here. I'm just going to scout them all. Oh, I like him. Oh, he plays for Arsenal. Yeah. Whew. Oh, Harlan's injured, is he? Yeah, I think we need to we need to sign him at some point. Pressing forward. Yeah, we need we need him. That's that's the that's the the final piece of the puzzle there. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to pick Bali. Yep, Bruno's crucial. Yep, I think we can get off to a winning start. Uh, uh, football's a business. Uh, yeah, they should find something more interesting. Pre-season was good. You'd like to get underway. Uh, I think Man United will be. Yeah, I think we should be looking to get close to winning the league this season. If not, win the league, um, which will be hard. I mean, we're going to have Euro group stages. We're going to be in everything, you know. But we have got a massive squad. Like this is a big squad. This is a big value squad. You know, we've got players like Dan James who are going to come in for those European games. Mason Greenwood's going to get some time in there. Chong Gomez. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of players here. If we look at like, um, I guess positionally wise, Sergio Romero's good goalkeeper. He could play in the European games. Um, we've got Maguire, Twanzebe, Lindelof, uh, Kaya, Ajer. They're all potential centre backs. Right back, we've got Bissaka and um, Dallo. Left back, we've got Shaw and Kozawa. 
defensive midfielder wise we've got Fred we've got um, Azure as well it's a little bit tight there I'd say if, if anything midfield central midfield wise we've got what Fred McTominay Bruno Fernandes Pogba Pereira um, and even Azure if we need to um, right wing we've got Costa Lingard and James and Greenwood and Berardi left wing we've got Rashford Martial we've got um, Gomez James again you can play left up front we've got Gignac Martial Rashford Greenwood yeah we've got some good options there actually very happy with them um, what we've got going on there I think it could be a very interesting season could also get sacked in about three weeks time when we haven't won a single game Way Palace top of the league get in Zaha would have been good up front but he's not pressing forward to be fair he would have been good like on the right or the left but it also would have cost us like a 80 million so you know we'll scout him I think and just add him to our short list but I think Haaland's the one we want up front. Um, definitely. I think we, we rock this league. Uh, I mean, I guess we've got Greenwood, who I think is going to be very good. But we could train him more onto the right. That would, you know, might not be a bad idea. Right, we're going to save it here and finish up. Um, thank you guys for watching. Looking forward to playing Burnley. Um, they're going to play four four two. I think we can. I think we can beat them. This is by far our biggest test because you know we have played against a lot of pub teams in pre season. So we've got to see how we uh, actually do against a proper side. But till then, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.